Hey everybody, I'm Tommy with Alderman Farms. Today we're going to get our swarm trap ready and hang it in a tree. Let's do it. All right, so we live on 116 acres that has got timber everywhere. I've got tree lines everywhere. So deciding on a spot to hang a swarm trap, uh, I've got so many possibilities. There are, I know that uh, I'm new at this, but from my study, from watching others on YouTube, I know that it can be in the middle of an opening somewhere or along a tree line or say 10 or 15 yards inside a tree line, but not necessarily in the deep uh, woods, which, you know, bees do make hives, um, uh, uh, do take up residence in trees in the middle of the woods. But I think that's because the, to make it easier for them to find. So uh, again, here at Alderman Farms, I've got tree limbs, uh, tree edges of tree lines all over the place. So what do we do? Well, do you see this tree right here? This morning I trimmed some tr uh, privet hedge around it, uh, around from it to make it cleaner for me to get up about 10 feet or so to hang a swarm trap because that's where I'm going to put it. Here's why we picked that tree. Chocolate Chip is really glad that I, I trimmed this this uh, hedge bush tree off of the side of it. But the reason we picked this tree as the most likely spot to hang my swarm trap, and one of these days I'm gonna have 15 or 20 swarm, uh, swarm traps and then I'll ha have them hung all over creation. But a number of years ago, um, right along in here somewhere, there's a knot. Can't really see it looking through uh, the camera, but this tree had bees in it. You know what? I think it was right there. This tree had bees in it. So um, we already figured that this tree might be favored by the bees. So we're gonna hang our swarm trap up on this tree about yay, facing to the south. But before we can do that, I gotta get the trap ready. Oh yeah, I forgot I had to go make a wardrobe change and get my 628 Dirt Rooster Bees cap on. So, welcome to 628 Dirt Rooster Bees, where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. No, I'm sorry. Welcome back to Alderman Farm. All right, I need to, I don't know if you can see it here, but um, my, my swarm trap, I named it Epstein. Can you guess why? It won't hang itself. Let me tell you about this. So last year, a friend of ours had a swarm of bees take up residence in an upside down pot in the in their backyard in the middle of a, a neighborhood in the city of Brookhaven and they asked us to come get it. And, and again, I'm so new at this, but we went and we uh, when I finally, uh, I got it turned upside down and they had only been there long enough to make a little piece of comb about that big. <laughs> so it was, a, it was a nice little bunch of bees and uh, I got them, we brought them home they didn't make it. I think my other hive sensed weakness and, uh, and ran them out. So anyway, they were in here for a little while. I even took some comb from my strong hive and put in here in an attempt to kind of help them. So uh, my understanding about swarm trapping, I haven't caught a swarm of bees in a trap yet. Uh, so this is this will be our first, because they ended up putting that, that swarm inside this hive. Um, and was gonna build a new hive to put them in and, and they didn't make it long enough for me to get the hive finished. No excuse, I should have finished it. But anyway, so again, my understanding is the more um, uh, smelling like bees the swarm hive can be, the better. So uh, I'm glad that there were bees inside this box for at least a few weeks last year. I'm glad that there's used comb in here um, but some of it, I had taken some of the uh, frames out and left them, uh, I walked away from them and forgot them out there. So they got rained on and everything. So there's a bunch of, of torn up comb in here that I, uh, or wax in here that I'm going to take out. I brought some, I've got some frames with wax on them to see mm -hmm. how many I'm going to need to replace. So let's get inside and see what we can see. See, I don't know. I may decide to leave that in there because it's got bees were in it. Um, it looks like there is some wax moth damage. Now, I was watching a video from the Bee University, New Bee University, yesterday, and a man said something very interesting on there that 
when bees are looking for a new place to live, they kind of like uh, 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 wax moth damage. But see, I'm not going to leave this one in here because you see how that's all been out of shape and stuff. I don't want them to my and I could be wrong about this. That may be ideal, but I'm not going to put it because I, I want them to be able to build cones straight. And look, tell me in the feel free to tell me in the comments how stupid I am. It don't bother me. I'm new at this. All right, there's a good one. I'm gonna leave in there. Partially built out. See that? So I think you know it ought to have the smell of bees on it. There is uh, there's some propolis. Let me put this one over here. I'll put that in my undecided pile. My put make my keeper pile right here. Oh man. You know what? I don't know. That looks well used. That might have been the one. See, I think the bees came back in there before I decided to close this up and uh and and poached all of that wax. I don't know if it might be smart to put that in there though. So I'm gonna put that in my undecided pile. Here's one that looks like nothing was done with. I'm gonna put that in my no pile. There's one that's completely naked. That goes in my no pile. And this one's gonna go in my no pile. Looking down in my box, even got a, a dead bee or two in there there's some there's uh, quite a bit of propolis in there some leaves a couple of little flake a couple of little flakes of uh of wax i've got my my little uh lemon grass oil dispensers in there i think that has solidified i'm actually going to replace those there are there are two of those that are going to be right by the entrance huh. i got good news well i didn't get a i didn't get a shot of her but here i am out here working on this uh, swarm trap and i had a bee checking us out so that's a that's a good sign um she may be going back to get more scouts so i better hurry up all right, the bee is back and <laughs> buzzing around. That's awesome. So I got the swarm lure, which is basically uh, it's lemongrass swarm swarm lure that I got from horizontalhive.com. I think you can get it any kind of essential oil. And also the kit that I bought came with these little slow release tubes that allegedly hold the smell for like six months. It came with a little dropper and the instructions are to fill these tubes about halfway. So I'm gonna fill this one about halfway and close it and then put it inside this staple on either side of the entrance. Got one more here, I'm gonna do that too. This is exciting, y'all. I got bees flying around me. I think it'll be something if I catch a swarm on the tail tailgate of my truck. Now, I think I'm also going to take a Q-tip and just dab a little bit in the back of this box. And maybe on the front entrance, just to give it a little boost. Can y'all see that bee? Now I've got a bumblebee. We're drawing a crowd. I gotta tell you, that's exciting. All right, <clears throat> so let me see here. I think I'm gonna put that one right there.
You know what? I think I am going to put this one in there just for the smell. I'll put it over here, kind of away from everything. I love ratchet straps. So I'm gonna put a ratchet strap over the, uh, around the Epstein to make sure that the lid can't come off. I'm not gonna do it too tight because I don't want it to, uh, to buckle, but that'll be a, a handy uh, carrying strap as well. Um, and then when I place him up on the tree, I will do a ratchet strap or two around the tree to hold Epstein in place. All right, Epstein is up. Now let's see what happens. I didn't mention, I thought about putting that little shelf up there um, <clears throat> just to help me as a, uh, since I was doing this by myself, just to kind of help me um, stabilize it while I got the, the tie strap around it. It's really not supporting any of the weight of Epstein. <clears throat> the, tie, the ratchet strap is holding Epstein up against the tree. Um, but I'm probably going to secure that a little better uh, so that it can support the weight of it. Not, I, I won't get rid of the ratchet strap because I think it needs to have that up there uh, to really hold it securely. Um, <clears throat> one thing I want you to notice, I think you can see that it is ever so slightly tilted. Uh, Epstein is ever so slightly tilted down this way. Uh, that's just to make sure that any the, the entrance hole is drilled up at an angle so that water won't easily get up in the hive. And just as a slightly uh, another slight precaution, I've mounted the, the mounted it at an angle like this to further prevent water from accumulating from blowing into the into the hive into the to bait hive. So now we wait. Thanks for watching. See you next time at Alderman Farms.